Today I'm gonna share with you five vocal saturation tips to give you more leverage when mixing vocals. Hey, what's going on my friend? The Chris Lim here from Mixdown Online. Mixing vocals, and this time around, vocal saturation. Now this is gonna be the last video of a quick series I've made on mixing vocals here on YouTube. The first one uh, was published back in October uh, with uh, five vocal delay tips. If you wanna watch that video and all the other videos part of that series, I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can watch the full YouTube playlist. There's one, like I said, on delays, one on uh, vocal reverb, uh, vocal EQ, vocal compression, and this one is the last of the series, and it has to do with vocal vocal saturation, uh, which is an important aspect on mixing vocals, something that I use all the time, and I'm gonna show you uh, what I do on my side when it comes to work with saturation while mixing vocals. So let's jump in Cubase and start this one up. Now for the first tip, add warmth and color to your vocal using saturation. All right, so in Cubase, uh, let's have a quick listen to uh, the song we are gonna work on today. So this is a song that I co-wrote it with a good friend of mine, the lead singer of this song, Anne-Clémence Rouffet. Uh, we actually released that single a few months ago. So again, I'm gonna leave all the infos down below if you wanna to listen to the full song. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna solo that lead vocal for the verse. Uh, let me remove uh, the effects, like the reverbs and delays. I'm gonna to try to keep this one as dry as possible. Uh, there's a bit of compression and EQ going on. So something I like to do is to use uh, a console emulation plugin or a preamp type plugin like uh, the Arturia Pre-1973, uh, just to give a bit more uh, fullness to the sound by adding some natural harmonics created by saturation. Now, if you don't know a lot about saturation or you're a bit confused about how saturation is created, uh, you can actually watch my full video talking about saturation that I'm going to leave down below. Now, the reason why I like to use these types of plugins like uh, a preamp plugin or a console emulation plugin uh, is to get that natural uh, type of analog vibe uh, that we get when recording through those devices. You know, when you actually record in a preamp or in an analog console. Now, for a lot of people, uh, using the interfaces preamp is the option you have to work with, uh, which is going to produce a very clean and transparent recording, which is fine. But at some point, it's actually very nice to add a bit more fullness to a very clean and transparent sound. And this is why I like to use these types of plugin. Uh, so let's try it out with the uh, pre-1973, uh, where I can actually add, increase the input gain level of the preamp. Uh, to uh, to create more saturation. So more signal is going to go through the transformers of uh, the, um, the preamp itself, which is going to produce saturation, which will create harmonics. And the goal here is not to distort the signal. It's just to add a subtle amount of saturation, just to create a bit more fullness by, uh, by getting more harmonics out of the sound. Okay, so let's check it out here. Poussé. Par la pensée du if I increase it to the max, de now I'm getting a lot of saturation. This is not what I'm looking for. Rien que je I think that's going to be good enough. Une poussière de vie, de sourire, dans le okay, that's pretty cool. So that is one way you can add a bit more fullness to your sound and make your clean and transparent signal sound a bit more exciting. I can also use tape emulation, so let's bypass the preamp for now, and go with the Kramer Master Tape uh, by Waves, uh, which is a very good tape emulation plugin. Let's try this one out. Poussé par la pensée d'une nuit Entouré de l'infini Ma main dans la sienne ainsi Rien que maintenant je If I increase the record level de vie, Now I'm increasing the amount of signal going to the tape And that creates also 
saturation. Uh, now, the saturation I get from a tape emulation plugin is going to be a bit more warm and more uh, dark in a way. Um, and that's because of the roll off that I get on the top end of the signal that is produced by tape saturation. All right, let's add the, uh, the preamp on top of that and listen to what we have. Poussé par la pensée d'une nuit. Entouré de l'infini, ma main dans la sienne ainsi. Rien que maintenant je vis une poussière de vie éclatante de sourire. So this is a very good way to add warmth, analog color, and fullness to your vocal sound. As far as the order in the chain where I put those plugins, uh, the pre, like if I use a preamp plugin, I'm gonna use that straight on top uh, or a console emulation plugin. I'm gonna tend to use it uh, um, as one of the first plugins in the chain. And uh, as far as the tape goes, that could actually follow the, uh, uh, the preamp emulation plugin, or I can also bring that at the end of the chain uh, and that also works pretty well. So it depends on what I'm mixing. So it's just a matter of experimenting and see what works best for you. Now for the second tip, use saturation in parallel. Now this is very useful if you uh, you wanna add like high level saturation, uh, but you know, blended with the dry signal. That actually works pretty well. Um, so I'm gonna add on this one, the Arturia Dist Op Amp 21, which is a, uh, an emulation of the Sans Amp. And uh, uh, I just made a copy of my uh, vocal track, and this is my uh, parallel channel that I'm gonna be using. Um, so if I just blend that with uh, the unsaturated vocal, this is what I get. Poussé par la pensée d'une nuit Entouré de l'infini Okay, on Ma its own, la... this is how that saturation or distortion at this point sounds like. Poussé Par la pensée d'une nuit Entouré de l'infini Ma main dans la sienne ainsi Rien que maintenant je vis Une poussière de vie Éclatante de sourire so it adds a bit more edge and character to that sound. Uh, you can hear that saturation, uh, but you can actually blend it so you actually don't hear it, but you feel it more than anything else. And that, again, uh, can add more, like I said, more character, uh, uh, more edginess to the sound. Um, getting that sound a bit more upfront also, uh, this is going to help a lot. Uh, so using saturation, like heavy saturation in parallel, to the vocal is a great way uh, to do it also. It's not something I do all the time, but it's something that is very useful when I need to. Now for tip number three, filter out the signal before saturation. This is also something that is gonna help to get the best out of your saturation, uh, especially if you work uh, uh, with heavy saturation on your track or in parallel like I'm doing right now. So something I can do is to filter out the signal going into uh, the saturation. So in this case, what I'm gonna do here is to uh, add a high pass filter, uh, tame down the low mids and add the boost on the top end and we'll see how that goes. Poussé par la pensée d'une nuit Entouré de l'infini Ma main dans la sienne ainsi now that's nice because I'm getting rid of all that mud that was feeding the saturation. Something else I can also do if I'm dealing with a lot of sibilance, I can add a de prior uh, to the uh, saturation. So this way, I'm not feeding my saturation with some sibilance. I'm gonna get more control over the sound before it ends in saturation. Poussé par la pensée d'une nuit Entouré de l'infini, ma main dans la sienne ainsi. Rien que maintenant je vis une poussière de vie éclatante de sourire. So that actually works pretty well. Something else you can do with uh, filtering and EQ before getting into uh, saturation is to emphasize on specific frequencies. If you want to uh, to saturate, you know, a specific band of frequencies, uh, whether it's the mid range or the high mids or you know whatever you want to emphasize, you can boost those frequencies. So those frequencies get uh, get saturated more than anything else. So that is also something that can be done if this is what you're looking for. But what 
what I like to do on my end is to get rid of the mud, add a de-esser, and there you go. Now, the cool thing with this is that I actually shaped the tone of the saturation. And while I'm balancing that out with the unsaturated vocal track, uh, I'm actually changing the overall tone also, which is gonna make my vocal a bit more uh, brighter, a bit more upfront, uh, which works well for parallel processing. And this is a way to EQ your vocal and change the tone of your vocals without adding EQ, but by using saturation. Now for the next tip, multiband saturation. Uh, this can be useful. So let's uh, bring that down, my uh, parallel uh, saturation down. And I'm gonna open at the end of my chain, the Quadrafaz plugin by Steinberg. That is a stuck Cubase plugin that actually works pretty well. So this is the multiband uh, saturation plugins, meaning that you can add saturation on different bands of frequencies and deactivate saturation on some other bands if you want to, or different types of saturation, depending on the bands uh, you're working on. So which can be very useful. So on my side, what I have here, uh, let's go and focus on the mid range uh, by adding a bit of the tube saturation on the channel itself. So it's not in parallel, but straight uh, on the channel. So let's have a listen. That's bypass, the reverbs and stuff. You know, that again is a way to tone shape your sound without the use of an EQ, you know, just by adding some saturation, which is gonna create some harmonics uh, to the sound. Now I'm only focusing on frequencies uh, between, let me check here, uh, between 1.5 kilohertz to 10K. So those are the frequencies that are getting worked out uh, by the saturation plugin. So using a multiband saturation plugin is a very good way to tone shape your sound with saturation by just focusing on specific bands of frequencies. Now for tip number five, use saturation on effects like delays and reverbs. Okay, so what I have here, I have a vocal tro channel right here um, where I have the Echo Boy as a delay. And I'm gonna use this channel just to add some delay on some specific words. Something that can be done, and this can be done on any type of delays. Um, and you can also experiment using the same type of approach with reverbs also. But on this video, I'm mainly gonna use it on a delay which works very well. So for this one, I'm using the Echo Boy delay by Sound Toys, which is one of my favorite delay plugins. I've been working with this one for years. It has served me well so far. So I have on this plugin, the saturation knob, which is gonna add some saturation to the delay signal, which is very cool to work with. So let's have a quick listen um, by just soloing the delay only. Okay, so if I add some saturation, there you go. That is pretty cool. That's very nice. Now, this is a ping pong delay uh, going from left to right. Let's blend that with uh, the, uh, the actual vocal. That's pretty cool. So it actually adds a lot to that vocal delay. Now I might uh, overdid it for the sake of this video, but that gives you an idea. Now, if you don't have a saturation knob on your delay, you can just add a saturation plugin after the delay on your effects channel track and blend that out, you know? Um, and that will work perfectly.
Uh, you can add this on a slap back delay if you want to on any types of delay that you have on your vocal. So I love using a bit of saturation on my vocal delays uh, just to get them to sound different, uh, to stand out a bit more. Now, before I wrap this one up, let me give you one extra tip. So tip number six, as a bonus tip, add the saturation on back vocals. So what I have here on my end is doubles, okay, where I recorded the lead vocal on the verses two extra times separately so I can create a more wide vocal sound. So I'm panning one of the doubles left and the other one right and I just blend that with the lead vocal so I, I'm getting like a wider um, a wider vocal sound so if I solo my uh, double channel which are grouped into a, uh, a group channel I'm getting this okay so uh, I have like a de an EQ a bit of compression and uh, if I add this plugin, which is the Tape Melofi by Arturia, which is based on the Melotron, um, I'm getting some preamp and tape saturation, which adds a lot of tone to the signal. So let's have a listen. Par la nuit, That's pretty cool. De so a bit of preamp drive with some tape saturation also. Uh, I'm getting a lot of focus on the mid-range, especially low mids a bit, you know, which works great uh, for this part. And it blends pretty well with the lead vocal also. So let's blend this up with the lead vocal. Solo. Poussé par la pensée d'une nuit, entouré de l'infini, ma main dans la sienne ainsi, rien que maintenant je vis une poussière de vie. So there you go, my friends. This is what you can do with vocal saturation. There's a lot of options here, a lot of uh, tips that I shared with you. Now, there's way more stuff you can do with saturation and vocal and also on other instruments, of course. Uh, so if you have any other tips that I did not share in this video, please list them down below in the comment section. So basically what saturation is gonna do to the signal, it's gonna create some harmonics and also some light and natural compression to your sound. And that gives you a lot of leverage when mixing vocals and also other instruments. And don't forget to use any tips that I share if you need to and if they improve your vocal sound in the end. So try them out, let me know what you think. Don't forget to share, like, and to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Until next time, Take care, my friend.